In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Block Shadow tool to easily add depth to your designs. Block Shadow creates vector shadows similar to the Extrude tool through a greatly simplified but dynamic process. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial along with a sample design file so you can try out the steps yourself. To get started, find the icon for Interactive Tools near the bottom of the toolbar and click the arrow to open the flyout menu. Then select the Block Shadow tool. Your cursor icon will change to the Block Shadow symbol and your Properties bar will change to show Block Shadow properties at the top of your screen. With the Block Shadow tool selected, click the text or object to which you want to apply a Block Shadow. Once it's selected, just click on the object and drag to position your shadow, which will be represented by a thin blue outline of the object. When you let go, Corel Draw will generate a block shadow. Once you create your block shadow, a color selection dropdown will appear. Click into the dropdown, and you can change the block shadow's color using the palette, or using the eyedropper tool. Now let's take a look at some of the adjustments you can make to your block shadow. We'll first go up to the depth spin box, which you can use to adjust the depth of your block shadow. Right next to it is the direction spin box, which will change the angle at which your block shadow appears. These next three adjustments, overprint, simplify, and remove holes, are especially useful when designing for print or vinyl cutout. Click the overprint box to cause your block shadow to print on top of underlying objects. So rather than underlying colors being canceled out by the printer, they'll actually be printed one on top of another. Click the Simplify box to trim all overlapping areas between the object and the block shadow, simplifying the print job to eliminate any potential overprinting. Finally, click the Remove Holes box to remove any gaps from your block shadow, creating a continuous shadow behind your object. This is also helpful for vinyl cut projects when you don't want small shapes being cut out separately. Next is the Generate from Object Outline box, Click it to include the object outline when creating your block shadow. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of difference here when we do that. Clicking this box will also enable the Expand Block Shadow spin box. And moving over there, I'll use the up arrow to expand my block shadow equally in all directions. If you'd like to get rid of your block shadow, just click the Remove button. And those are the basic functions of the block shadow. If you're watching this video on YouTube, You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial, along with a sample design file, so you can try out the steps yourself. In the sample file, apply block shadows to the soccer logo on the right and try to make it look like the example on the left. 